Hi there, welcome back to Bangkok Chit Chat. Uh, today we're going to be talking about solar power and uh, we have the COO of uh, Kunini uh, Electric and uh, Solar Power Services. Uh, so, Daniel, welcome. Danny, welcome. Okay. Uh, more Thank, like, you. Yeah. Thank you. So just to get to sort of move forward with mm. it, uh, why are people even looking at using solar power? I mean, mostly it's to do with it's, it's to do with saving money. Obviously, they can save money with it. Um, obviously, they can save money with it. And then there's also those customers that are looking to have some sort of emergency backup power supply, considering you know with they're saying what's happening in world events and stuff. So some people are a little bit paranoid right now. And so we've had an increase of solar hybrid systems with right. batteries. Um, but I say for the most part, it's people wanting to put solar on to cover all their daytime power. And therefore saving money. So co cost saving. Cost uh, saving but yeah. you know, around Thailand, the the, the grid itself, yeah, uh, I take it over the years has improved. So being without power power cuts, at least when I first came here, what thirty years ago, yeah, uh, yeah, there was power, regular power cuts. Mm. Uh, now there's less less power cuts. Uh, so it is you know there's a green factor, mm. and then the, the, there's a cost saving factor, but. Is is there still a weakness like in Hoa Hin, Paria, Bangkok of of uh, regular power supply? Not not really. Nowadays, I mean, you're, you're quite correct. I mean, you know, in, especially in the in the cities like Hoa Hin, Bangkok, Pattaya, whatever, it's there's really not that many power cuts. And normally, the when they're going to have a power cut, the utility will go around with a truck and announce it a week before, and you know, mm -hmm. like next Wednesday, it's going to yeah, be off. It's entire, so, I, I wouldn't yeah. know. <laughs> So, so you know, you know, you know nowadays. Yeah. But I would say it's still, it's still happening quite a lot in places like Samui and and the islands, as right. it were, right? So, I mean, when people install solar and they say, okay, I want batteries in case it goes down, they can also use those batteries at night for their energy as well. Right. So they could actually say, okay, I'm going to use the solar in the daytime. I'll use my batteries in, as, as long as I can in the evening. And then I'll keep a reserve in there in case it does go, you know, belly up in the middle of the night. Okay. So when you look at the, uh, you know, like everything you're, you're looking at, your, your sort of return and investment. So in a in a solar solar roof system, yeah. Uh, what kind of return on investment are you looking at over what what period? Obviously, it depends yeah. on the on the on your your existing electric bill, yeah. Yeah. But on average, I mean, if the system is well designed properly for your your house or your you know, your business then you know the return on the investment is around 5 years when we're doing large scale solar rooftops for factories it can be as less as three and a half years to get their money back right so it's very attractive especially for utility you know large scale uh, businesses and you know factories and things like that but for the typical homeowner as long as they use what they put on their roof that's why solar design is so important if you mm -hmm. only need five kilowatt, don't put 10 kilowatt on, or else right. the return on the investment is going to be a lot longer. Right. But if it's designed right, and you're using the power that it's been designed for, you'll get your return back within five years. So for someone to uh, decide that, you know, uh, I'm taking that you would actually be speaking to them beforehand to help design that system, yeah? Yeah, we, we offer, what we do is we, we always do a consultation first. That's why you'll see on our website and a lot of our advertising, we don't offer solar packages because we like to talk to the client first and really understand what they need. And then we'll, we'll basically design a system around that. So we'll offer a consultation and then we'll offer a solar survey as well. So we go out and actually physically see the house or the building that we're going to install the system on. Okay, so uh, first impression to anybody who would think, God, that's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah, mm. uh, Is there any incentives or are there any uh, financing options you know through the government or banks or it, it, is, is that sort of thing available i mean it is i mean it is available thailand has their their fit scheme which is the feed-in tariff mm -hmm. so if you was to say okay you know you put this if you if it works quite a lot with say in in bangkok if you've got a if you're out to work all day so mm -hmm. you've got your solar working during the daytime and that's feeding back into the grid and when you come home at night you're using the grid so basically you sell your daytime energy to the utility. Mm. Or if you're home all day and you have excess energy, you can sell that back to the utility as well. But these programs are, they're great and, you know, they, they do work, but the application process is tiresome. 
and complicated you how know, long? to get it done. How long? A year? Six months? I would say with six months to get it done. I mean, the first part is to actually sign up online and then, you know, fill in the application form, upload all the data to their PEA website. Sometimes it's offline as well. Sometimes you get halfway through and it crashes. <laughs> Um, so, you know, there's there's some, some work that needs to be done before you even start the process. So you have to get the drawings done, make sure you've got a rooftop layout done, single line electrical drawings done, all the data sheets for the inverter, the panels, all that needs to be on your desk ready to upload when you start the application process. Now, obviously, you help people do that because people can't be bothered doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we offer the service where we'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll help them sign up for it. So we offer the whole service where we can we can go in and... Our engineer can get online, and he, if you give him the power of attorney, he can get online under you know under your your authorization, right. and he can start applying for that system for you. So, so, so you're saying you know three three and a half to five years return on investment. Yeah, uh, you, and I think uh, I think you meant, mentioned off camera it was about two two baht per unit. Two point two baht per kilowatt hour. Per yeah. kilowatt hour. Yeah. So can, unit, how yeah. can you work that out against what your normal you know, if you if you got a five thousand baht bill for electricity, yeah, uh, or let's make it make it round figure ten thousand, yeah. Mm. Uh, how many kilowatt hours is that? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to you'd have to sit down and work that out because I mean, basically, it works out on the. You know, it, it's a difficult. I know what you're. I, know, I understand what you're trying to say. It's a yeah. difficult calculation because you have to work out what you're using, and then you have to work out any excess. Right. So I mean, really, you find that if the system's designed for your consumption. You really won't have a lot to feed back into the grid, right. and there's a restriction. Restriction. Okay. So if you've got a single phase supply at home, you can only have five kilowatt system. Right. If you've got a three phase supply at home, you can only have a ten kilowatt system. Right. So they already know what a t typical domestic supply is, so they know there's not going to be much feeding into the grid anyway. Okay. So let's say, for example, you're a house. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what can people expect with regard to the installation, etc., the, the, the process? What sort of process do they have to go through? With us, you mean? Or with you, the, you, you, okay. you, you use an example. I mean, basically, what we do is we, we have obviously the consultation, like I've said, we do the solar survey, and then we provide a detailed bill of quantity and a quotation for the client. Um, and basically, once they decide, okay, they want to go ahead, they'll sign off that quotation, and then we will then schedule the work. Which would take how long i mean yeah. a typical solar install a, a standard house yeah. a standard house two and a half three days to install okay, yeah, okay normally around three i mean a 10 kilowatt system with hybrid system maybe three to five days but a standard grid tie house two to three days done okay so yeah. regards to a, a house yeah i'm putting you on the spot here yeah uh, <laughs> is let's say a standard house uh like you know here, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, we, we've got sloping roofs and things. Yeah. Um, how how much would that? Ca uh, uh, I know it's difficult. How much would how much would you be looking at off the grid system? Yeah, one which is basically just for using the power daytime. It's got no batteries, no nothing. Yeah, Re how much do you think that would cost as a, as, a, as a, an estimate between a uh, hundred and two hundred thousand? Okay, or? so a typical single phase five kilowatt system. Is around 150,000 baht. Right. That's it. And if it's a three phase system, 10 kilowatt, for example, which is standard three phases, 10 kilowatt typically, that's around 270, 280,000. Right. And then, of course, if you want to store for when there's uh, a power outage mm. yeah, yeah, or that, overnight. It's complicated. <laughs> no. yeah. is, it, is it more sort of factories that be looking at that? or? No, no, it's, it is a lot of luxury. I mean, a, a lot of our clients are. Westerners. I mean, 90, 95% of our market is foreigners, and we have a lot of those in Huihin and Pattaya and Bangkok as well, and they have very large premises, very large houses. So these ones would be the ones that want to have the battery systems. And if you're talking about a 10 kilowatt, say a 10 kilowatt system with 20 kilowatt hours of battery, you're looking something around 700, 800,000 baht right, right. You know, for a system like that. Right, so it's going to, the ROI is going to be a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you start to look at, you know, ROI and hybrid systems, we don't really, you don't normally get a customer that comes in and says, I'm really interested in the ROI uh -huh. if they want the battery system. They're just a different client. Right, right, right. They're, okay. they're a different client. They're so, not looking at the so ROI. So are, are within, the world, within the world market, do you see that uh, 
you know, corporate social responsibility and things like that. You know, big factories are now putting their own uh, uh, solar roofs on. You think there's a trend towards this, or because there's so many different options. You know, you've got windmills. You've got okay, Wind wave mill. power would be okay down in well, maybe not in Patia <laughs> uh, or or, or whatever, because because it isn't it isn't big. Okay. Big waves. Dutch um, windmills. Right. The Dutch have windmills. Yeah, but no. They have wind turbines. But wind tur All right, okay. All right, wind turbines. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right. Anyway, so, <laughs> so is, it, is there a big movement towards green energy just now? Oh, yeah. Very much so. Very much so. I mean, all around the world, people are trying to reduce carbon footprint, reduce fossil fuels, and it's actually becoming a, a requirement in a lot of... It's starting to become a requirement in a lot of countries where you're building a new property, you have a certain social responsibility to reduce your carbon. Yeah, yeah. And, and companies also they get they get charged for uh, carbon trading. Carbon so, trading. So credits, companies yeah. can be penalised yeah. if they don't meet their quotas. Yeah, uh, and they're they're charged by the government. Certain certain countries do certain that. I don't think Thailand does it. Not, yeah. not yet, but there's also there's also what they say CFCs, which are carbon credits. Yeah. And, you get big companies in the world like the Googles and the Nikes and stuff, uh -huh, that's right. and they have a certain social responsibility. But if you add all their factories and all their roof space together, they can't fulfill that. Right. So what they do is they buy their carbon credits from another factory that's got too many. Right, that's right. That's where the carbon trading yes, comes in. it's yeah. what it's all about, right? So that's it. I mean, Thailand's getting into that quite a lot. You'll see a lot of factories on the eastern seaboard and stuff. They're all installing solar now. You know, either they're installing them with a third party as a PPA contract, power purchasing agreement contract, mm -hmm. or they're purchasing them out, out you know, outright through their own treasury. Right, you know? right. So with regards to technology, the technology is being developed uh, very, very fast. I mean, Scotland is, is where I'm from uh, originally. Uh, they've, they've, they've got a huge, big green uh, you know, uh, policy. Yeah? Uh, in fact, the Greens are now part of the government. Yeah? Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never heard the Greens being part of a uh, getting a ministerial position. But anyway, um, so do you see that uh, there's the, the growth of that industry and the drive with the technology? Do you think you know people are going to think, "Am I buying at the right time?" You you, you always get this. I've had customers that have, have even even up till you know even up till recently, I've had customers that we've we've talked to I'm talking about smaller scale residential yeah. customers yeah. or you know sort of maybe slightly larger customers that have come with an interest I want to put a solar rooftop I'm interested in that and then they come back and said okay I'm going to wait a little while yeah but it's like there's no point in waiting well it's you know, the same here you hear that from financial advisors you, you your, your money's not doing anything do something with it yeah, yeah? uh uh, stock markets, etc. And it, you know, my my past life with NIT is the same. You know, you can wait for the new rollout of the next computer, yeah. But what could you have done with the computer in the meantime? You, it's just it's a continual you can't, moving. You can't keep up with it. You know, when we started installing solar ten years ago, we were using 170 watt solar panels. Hmm. Now we're using 550 watt solar panels. Right. But here's a, here's a question. It's like <clears throat> within my industry, we we do filming, etc. Uh, and the general push within the studio is you don't invest so much with the cameras. G generally, cameramen will come along with their own cameras because they like it, yeah. or you rent the cameras, uh, etc., because they're so expensive. But what you invest in is all your lighting, all all these accessory elements, yeah, uh, sound, etc. Yeah. Um, so when people come to the studio, they've got everything there except they bring their right. bring their camera. Uh, with the guys, the, the panels. If you bought a, a a panel just now, is the technology in the panel or is it the technology? In the receiving element uh, through other other parts, because you know that that panel may be the same panel, but something else changes further down well, the line, which I mean, improves it. They're, they're all I for mean, upgrades. I mean, know, I mean, okay. So what you're seeing a lot is you're, you're looking at solar farms that were say built ten years ago, hmm. and although they've got a twenty five year contract with the government under a power purchasing agreement. They are looking at year 15, get all the old solar panels out, right. replace them for new ones, sell the old ones on the second-hand market and put in new ones because we've got 10 years left on our power purchasing contract. You know, we can max the hell out of it. Right. So, yeah, I mean, it's like everything's, everything's evolving. I mean, the solar inverters are evolving. They're all evolving at a rapid pace. It's right, so it's every element. You of can't the... keep up with it. 
Right. But okay. you can, you can you can't keep up with it. But saying that is that the equipment's there. The warranties are now like ten year warranties on the inverters, twenty five year warranty on the panels. So you're pretty safe putting a system in and knowing it's going to be there for a good few years mm. and saving you the energy you want within the return on the investment period anyway. Okay. More than that. I mean, because solar inverters are a ten year warranty. So if you've got to return the investment in five years and you manage to string the system out for ten or fifteen, you you, you know, you've already quit on yeah. 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 So yeah. Well, okay, Kilson, thank you very much for that. It was uh, okay. very interesting. I've been wanting to interview you for a while, so <laughs> thanks very much. All right, thanks if anyone's got any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to add in the comments and we'll get the answers for you. Uh, and I'll speak to you later. Bye.